do we know who or what Zozo's is? I think it's a restaurant, uh, maybe in Florida. Barry told me so. That's, uh, <laughs> well, what we know, know, what we do know, is that as far as a horse, he's a horse who's impressively won his two races, and now is going into the Louisiana uh, Derby. He's done well since Oklahoma. We've targeted the Louisiana Derby since that Oklahoma win. Um, he uh, obviously bounced out of it in good order. It's obviously a step up, like you said. Um, he's going to need to move forward. But, you know, if, if he can off the figures he's run, it puts him right there. Um, you know, obviously not much experience, but um, he is a smart horse. He seems to respond to what the rider wants him to do. So I'm hopeful, you know, with uh, what he showed us in intelligence and is willing to do uh, or respond to what a rider wants to make up for and, uh, you know, obviously lack of racing experience. Probably didn't start really thinking about Kentucky Derby until the allowance went in at Oakland, but we did like him. Um, he was at Keeneland uh, last fall and was very close to, uh, to being ready to make a start. He had a small setback. Uh, got him back going. Um, he was at Keeneland, uh, training well enough, sitting down, working here out of the gate. It's like, yeah, he's a nice horse. Running first time, I you know look he won first time, but I, I wasn't blown away by his first race at all. I was kind of actually a little sh walked away from scratching my head. I had some high hopes for him first time. Uh, he raced a little green, they got away from him a little bit. He stayed on his left lead down the lane and raced. I wouldn't use the word green, but just um, just you know lack of you know lack of experience first time starter, and maybe just not quite as quick as I thought he was. Maybe going short, then we stretched him out, and then. Um, you know, much better, much closer to the pace, doing it in hand, and thought, okay, well, this is this was the horse uh, we, we were expecting to see first time out, and he improved with ground, and he's, uh, you know, this is obviously going to be a mile and three sixteenths um, off that mile and the sixteenth win. Once again, seven weeks to move forward. Felt like he has, but it's a good group. Does having a horse like Justify, who is an unraced two-year-old, lightly raced, winning the Derby, and just seeing you know, some of these things that seemed like it was impossible to do before. Does that give you confidence with a horse like this that it, you know, this is, he's got to get the job done tomorrow right. uh, yeah. or almost get the yeah, job I've, done. I've thought about that. I've thought about that. Yeah, Justify was very impressive in um, his first start, I believe going seven, eight, as best I remember. Um, like I said, our, our horse ran a good race and he, he ran in what, what I think ended up being a solid group of horses because there's been several horses come back to break their maidens from that that race. So, you know, listen, time will tell how good that maiden race was and time will tell us how good Zozos is going to be. But, um, you know, if he can't step up and be a player tomorrow and, and be one too, we'll turn our attention towards the derby and if he belongs, we'll give him a chance. And the pace scenario, you said he has some speed. Epicenter has speed, the favorite. Uh, not necessarily a whole lot of other. Um. No, Todd's horse from the outside I think is going to be, could, can be forwardly placed. So, I think those are the three horses that are going to dictate turns going into the first turn. We are obviously drawn to the inside. Uh, we're going to break running, uh, kind of see what, what the other guys are doing or what their intent is. And, you know, we're not going to take anything away from our horse that, if he, as long as he's doing it in hand. Um, once again, I, I do feel confident, like he's a smart horse. Um, you know, I'm hopeful that he can, you know, uh, adjust and, you know, make up for it. Um, you know, lack of experience with just uh, how intelligent he is. Um, you know, in regards to Derby, I'll be honest with you, I didn't really know if the, he, if he was Derby horse, but I liked him. I, I, I've always liked him, and, and he showed us some some talent from even last summer when we started with him. So, um, you know, it, it's these horses do change a lot. Um, you know, there's a lot of horses that show a lot of brilliance early on in the summer of their two-year-old year and into the fall of their two-year-old season and you know look they're nowhere now right so I mean it's it's, it's a tough road the Kentucky Derby uh, or Triple Crown Trail is uh, extremely challenging on horses and um, you got to be tough to get through it in this horse case you know he he, he didn't dance any dances at two just did all this you know training and you know we have a fresh happy horse and hopefully he'll show up and do big things tomorrow.